They're going to be with us, and you can tell by the coverage, just about everybody should get something out of this tomorrow in multiple rounds. And it does not look like that first round is going to be strong or severe. So that's good news. By uh, noon tomorrow, I think we're going to be dry, except for maybe a couple stragglers uh, hanging on there in the north zone. Then once we get to about the 3, 4 o'clock hour, we're going to see the second round start to pop. And notice, not everybody is going to get those storms. Any of those storms that pop up in the afternoon tomorrow, do have the potential to become severe, but it doesn't last long. By 7 o'clock, the cold front's through, and we're done with the storm threat. We start watching the humidity go back down because it's going to spike tomorrow back to muggy levels. So you combine that with the heat that we saw today, and you can pretty much guess where this is coming from. 4 to 10 a.m., that's the first window of storms we're looking at. Just about everybody gets that. Again, this is round one from west to east. Multiple downpours, probably some wind gusts out there, but again, we don't anticipate that that round is going to be severe. Four-hour window in the afternoon from 3 to 7. Isolated spots, most of us will actually stay dry, but these will be the strongest storms. Could see gusts of up to 60 miles per hour with some of those storms and also some hail to go with it. And we need every drop of rain we could get. We seem like we say that every week, but the drought monitor continues to get worse. We're really focused on that part of the west zone where that severe drought uh, has uh, intensified. You can see now parts of Livingston County are under a severe drought. The rest of us in a moderate drought. And unfortunately, we're going to get some rain tomorrow, but we've got a big deficit to make up. You can see 9.62 inches. We still haven't even got to 10 inches of rain for the year. And now we're watching what is going to be our third tropical system of the year. This is down in the Gulf of Mexico. 5 p.m. advisory just gave this a number, but not a name yet. This will likely be Claudette and it could be bringing as much as 10 inches of rain to the Gulf this weekend. 65 tonight, high temperatures tomorrow at 85. Uh, we're expecting those numbers to stay in the 80s through the weekend, but the humidity goes down and the storm threat goes away, guys.